Hello. When you want to add a foil balloon into the top of a design on, onto a simple base or onto a column or something along those lines, there are lots of ways of doing it, um, usually involving tying something around the tail of the balloon and then pulling it through the design. That all works fine, um, but sometimes it can be a little difficult to get the balloon tight enough so that you know it's very secure, and also to hide any, any gaps visible between the balloon so you can't see the mechanics. This is a really simple way of achieving a very, very firm, sturdy fixing um, and making sure that the mechanics are not visible at all really, really quickly. Um, it's, I'm going to start with, start with just a simple two-layer cluster base. So I've got a cluster of four five-inch Sempertex Reflex Lilac here and a cluster of four five-inch Sempertex Fashion Pink. I've added a small weight into the bottom of this one to give it some stability. And then rather than putting this onto here, attaching them together and then attaching the foil to it, I'm going to take the, this cluster, which if you're making a column will be the top cluster, and I'm going to wrap this around the base of the balloon first. So simply pull the tail of the foil nice and firmly, get a nice decent amount of tension on there through the cluster, and then wrap it around and twist the balloons several times so that it is really firmly attached to the foil. So do it three or four times and you should find that that is plenty to give it that firm attachment that you need. As you can see there, it's really tight and you can't see any of the mechanics through this gap. And then to attach them together, simply take one of the necks of the lower cluster, sit the upper cluster on it, pull the neck up through the middle, and then just figure of eight or wrap around two or three of the balloons in the higher cluster and let it go. And that's it. It's very, very solid, very firm and very, very tidy. So that works really well. And then just to illustrate, I'll build something a little bit bigger um, using one of the larger numbers um, and three layers of balloons so that you can see that it works for everything. So I'm using the uh, Amscan Pastel Rainbow number and the colours in here are picked up perfectly by the Sempertex Pastel Dusk Range, the Laurel Green, uh, Lavender, um, Rose and Blue. And I've built two layers here, the lower one has a weight in it and then I've wrapped the second layer on the top and then instead of doing the normal thing, if you like, of attaching the third layer and then putting the foil onto the top of that, I'm going to do the same method that I did with the smaller design, wrap the tail of the number through the cluster, wrapping and twisting as I go a few times just to make sure that it's all nice and tight. This will work with any size balloon and any shape really because either the um, balloon has a, an inflation point at the base of it or it will have a hanging tab and both of those can be used to attach the cluster like so. Once you've done that just to make it um, sit nice and tightly we do exactly the same. Wait a minute I've managed to twist my balloons over and get them out of colour sequence we'll just adjust that. Uh, no, I'm still not there I'm upside down now. Wait a minute we go, <laughs> we go green and pink so it's gone this way. The Blue and lilac are next to each other there. Blue, lilac, green, pink. So you do need to sort of pay a little bit of attention, I suppose, <laughs> while you're doing this so that your colours don't go out of sequence. But as you can see, it's very easy to adjust them and it doesn't affect the stability of the fixing in any way. 
So um, you can either pull the neck of this one up and wrap it around, or you can take the neck of one of these down and wrap it around. It really just depends on which of the balloons has the longest necks. I'm going to pull it down through there, through the second cluster, back up again, wrap it round a couple of times and possibly just tie it off to make sure that it's not going anywhere because when you're working with larger latex you proportionately don't have quite as much um, length of neck to work round as you do with the smaller ones. So I'll just tie that two necks together and there we have it sitting really firmly, really tightly. There's no danger of that balloon um, moving out of place and it's really important that if you're working entirely with air because this doesn't have any lift of its own. You'll find plenty of other videos like this with handy hints and tips on our YouTube channel Amscan International and on the Decorator Hub on the Amscan website. Simply um, scan the QR code that's coming up at the end of the video or go to amscan.co.uk and click on the Decorator Hub button. Thank you.